the bottom of my heart. Woo. I'm not gonna dance my way out though, no worries. Curtis, come close us out, yeah. <laughs> we have got to not hide away and retreat. Now is the time for the church to rise up. Being the church in other people's lives is more often than not, not about what you say, but more about what you do. So I brought my backpack, how about you? Let it go. God's greatest invitations often come through God's greatest interruptions. You need one of these. Because church is not a place, church is a people. away from the darkness and into the light because I'm a sinner who needs a savior and because he saved me, I wanna follow him with all I've got. If you say in expectations, well, my mom always. Can I get an amen if those of you who tried it and failed? Yeah, that, I don't care what you follow it up with. It's not gonna work, so don't do it. Yeah, this is baby girl and Polly Pocket House. Hashtag girl dad. I want the kingdom's timing to be up to my timing. But what I've learned about the king is that his timing, his ways are so much better than mine. That Jesus always gets the final word. just to drop anchor in what was, we're called to move forward. God is a what will be kind of God. To illustrate this, I brought my trusty phone. I happen to have an Apple, maybe you got an Android, you know, you'll get saved one day, but I'm just... This is a fanny pack, in case you've never seen one of these bad boys before.
I'm going to give you a chance to do that again in a moment, but if you could have a seat, <laughs> you'll want to sit down. It's going to be a couple minutes. <laughs> Kevin and I were joking. You just saw more Southern Kevin, fatter Kevin, <laughs> younger Kevin, thinner Kevin, and all kinds of props, Kevin. <laughs> you guys have loved me through it all. You really have. <laughs> By like the 28th prop, he leaned over to me and said, anything to share the gospel. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes. <laughs> oh, I want to read uh, a verse that God laid on my heart that Kevin shared with you earlier. Uh, I don't do this stuff well. I don't end well. I don't transition well. I don't like things going away. I don't say goodbye well. And I feel like God's been laying a lot of verses on my heart about him making things new. And one of the things he's been teaching me in this season is that without fail, when the Bible talks about making something new, when God is making something new, it is good. Amen. It is good. Kevin shared this with us earlier. I want to read it to you again. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19 says, remember not the former things nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I did want to reemphasize that for two reasons. One is that particular verse because it used the word rivers. <laughs> but to the note in my Bible I love, it says, where there is no clear path forward, God creates one. Where there is no natural relief or refreshment, God provides it. And we're entering a season of life that can be confusing. It is certainly unknown. We may not see the clear path forward right now today, starting tomorrow when Kevin is not our lead pastor. But God will provide a path forward. Yeah. We may not see the relief. We may not see that right now in our humanness but he will provide it. This is a bittersweet day, in part because we have seen men here lately at Blackhawk finish well. We saw that and celebrated that yesterday. We're seeing it and celebrating it again today. A few months ago, Kevin came into my office and said words that changed my life and I knew had changed the course of our church's future. And I knew would change his life. And since that day, Kevin has remained diligent and steadfast in his preaching of the word, of his shepherding of this flock, of his loving of this place right here until this very moment, the very last day. Kevin, you have finished well. One day you will hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. Amen. I would not presume to say that to you, but you have finished well, Amen. and we thank you thank for you the way Curtis. you have loved us. Thank you, Curtis. Thank you, church. We've got a couple of gifts that we're going to give Kevin, a reminder that we are collecting a love offering for Kevin and Jessica and their kids. It's out at the welcome desk, so on your way out, if you have a love offering that you would like to to give them today, you can do that there. And at this time, I would like to invite Jessica and Caleb and Callie and Kaya up to the stage. Would you welcome the Rivers family? As they come here, I'm gonna now invite Sue Stump to the stage. Sue is going to represent all of our women's ministries efforts here at Blackhawk, the women of Blackhawk came together and they wanted to give Jessica a gift. So Sue is coming to the stage right now. You'll notice the difference in what happens when women wrap a gift <laughs> and, and when I wrap a gift. <laughs> this bag was given to me, I think at Christmas and it's being rebagged. The gift is new. 
But look what Sue did. I mean. <laughs> Sue, would you please share your thoughts on behalf of all of our women's ministries? You stole everything I was going to say. I was going to talk about this being a bittersweet day and all these verses. But Jessica, where do I begin? I don't feel like we had enough time with you. And this is just a small token of our appreciation for what you've done, how you've loved on women, how you've taking care of your family and allowed Kevin to do what he can do. And what you did with the well, ladies, <laughs> if you got to experience the well, wasn't that amazing? <laughs> and we will do that again. So it is bittersweet. Um, but you are part of the family. And just because a family member moves away doesn't mean you're not part of the family anymore. So we consider you family, we love you, and I hope that every time you use this, you think of us and pray for us as well, because we will be praying for you. Don't be fooled, this lady is the glue of our house, always has been, and so Jessica, we sure love you. Thank you. You can give it to Katie. <laughs> there you go. And we, we'll open the presents later. Kevin, we've got a present for you. This is from the elders. Um, and I'll just tell you, it is a watch. Um, and we think that every time you look at it, because we know you don't wear one a ton, uh, but we, we hope that you put it on for special occasions. And when you look at that, you remember your time with us Amen. here at Blackhawk. We will always remember our time with you. Thank you. Thank you. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to pray over the Rivers family. Before we do that, though, uh, about a week or two ago, our worship team came to me and said, we really feel moved to sing over Kevin and Jessica and their kids. And so they are going to bless us now as they sing over the Rivers family with the blessing. We love you guys. We, we love you guys. I do want to point something out in that in that passage as well. It said rivers in the desert. Okay, um, you leaving me, bro? <laughs> so maybe that word to come together. You have to stay in the desert for a couple of days. I don't know. <laughs> More than that, we 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 want to bless you, and I I we we love you, love your family. See ribs right here, Kaya, Kai Kai, Kali. You gonna sing with us when we sing? Yes. Okay. <laughs> You, you need a microphone in just a second. Just. At your own risk. Yes. <laughs> and maybe mine too. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's praise our God. And if you guys wouldn't mind standing and just extend a hand as we bless this family. Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face for you and give you peace. And we all sing in one voice. Upon you and a thousand 
generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you in the morning in the evening in the coming and you're going in your weeping in rejoicing he is for you 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 emotional state <laughs> the last thing we want to do today is pray over Kevin and Jessica and their kids and to pray them back to Georgia so at this time I would like to invite all elders and deacons and council of elders and staff members in the room if you would come to the stage please and let's lay hands on the Rivers family for the rest of you as we pray, if you would please extend a hand. As we thank God one final time for the blessing of these last five and a half years. What a beautiful picture this is, by the way. Young and old, men and women, black and white. This is the bride of Christ. Amen. Kevin, this is the flock you have led so well. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank Let's you. pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much. Today is a day to be grateful. These are not tears of sadness only. They are tears of joy and gratitude. For the last five and a half years, we did not know that Kevin Rivers was going to be our lead pastor. But you knew. You brought him here for a reason and for a season. And you have blessed us mightily through his time with us. So we thank you first and foremost. Lord, now as Kevin returns to Midway and returns to Georgia, we pray that you would go before him and Jessica. Make a way for them to continue the amazing ministry that you do through them. 
Lord, the scene is going to change. The geography gets different. But his ministry, their ministry, the way they shine your light into this world will not change. And we know that you will not change. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. May Kevin always point people to you. He has only been about you. And I pray that that would continue. Your direction to us. When Jesus was asked, what is the most important thing? He said, love God and love others. And Kevin and Jessica have done that well. Lord, I pray that you give them the strength to continue to do that well. Lord, I lift them each up to you by name, Kevin, Jessica, Caleb, Callie, and Kaya. Bless them as they return to Georgia. It's not goodbye. It is see you later. We are still all in the same family and they will be a part of the Blackhawk family forever. But more importantly, and much bigger than that, Lord, we are all a part of your family. So keep us close, keep us connected. Traveling mercies as they return, safety upon their return, blessings as Kevin steps into a new season, a new ministry. Prepare hearts, Lord, to hear your changing, saving message of love and grace. Yes, open hearts, Lord, to hear your word. Kevin is going to bring your word to people that need to hear it. I pray that you go before him, open hearts, and make a way for lives to be changed as they have been changed here. Lord, I return to where I started, and that is just to be thankful. Thank you for this time. Thank you for this precious family. Pour out your endless love and blessing upon them. Thank you for this time with them. We look forward to seeing them again. As thankful and as grateful as we are for them, Lord, we are most thankful and grateful for you, for the Lord Jesus Christ. You loved us enough that you lived and died and live again for us. And in your living, you know what it's like to say goodbye to go through change and transition. But your word tells us that when you make things new, it is a time to celebrate. And so Lord, today we celebrate the season with the rivers and the season that you've called them into. Thank you, Lord. Bless them. We lift all of these prayers up to you in the perfect name of your son and our savior. Jesus Christ. Amen. Will you please thank the Rivers family one more time? Have a great day. If you want to say goodbye to Kevin, you're not going to lunch, you're going to dinner, but you will, they will be here to say goodbye to every last person. Thank you. We love you. We'll see you next Sunday. Thank you, church. Love you. Their children, their children, they be a